What is up, everybody? Crooked Isle King here. <laughs> oh my god, we're actually here. Welcome to my reaction to Ruby Volume 9, the finale. Chapter 10 of Solitude and Self, in which a choice is made. Oh my god, I love how that tagline is kind of just playing off my... My, my comment earlier about about choice because that's basically the biggest thing that ruby is dealing with right now and uh meanwhile the rest of team ruby and john are fighting the cat and uh I, and i do and i just remember that last shot of john falling off the branch where they were fighting so i've said it before i'll say it again if he does not make it out of this volume i'm going to lose my freaking sanity because in case you couldn't tell already john is my favorite character in ruby and I feel like he's just had a fantastic arc God damn it. in this in this volume with how he got stuck in the ever after from going back in time for, like so many years uh becoming the rusted knight and the girl who fell through the world but I feel like he still has more that he can do in remnant now that he's learned to accept that you can't save everyone and sometimes that there are just some times where you shouldn't well, well at least in at, at least in in the case of the paper pleasers that was really cool seeing them become je reincarnated as gems so that they can still fulfill their original purpose while still being while, while being more durable than they used to be that was a really great moment i loved that that white knight moment between weiss and john i still can't believe that blake and yang had to had to butt in with that because they already had their moment but that's just me i still think it was great but oh my god um uh, there's a lot of uh, rumors floating, floating around about what happened to Alex after the Curious Cat tried to take over her body and use her to get back to to get to Remnant after Lewis went through. I don't know why he just didn't take Alex with him when he went, but 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 I guess Alex, I I guess Alex just wasn't able to go through the door much like because much like Neo, she didn't want to go back. She because because Alex wanted to fix everything that she that she broke in the Ever After after ascend after ascending at the tree like similar to ruby but but we'll see how ruby's plays out like i remember her reaching her, her reaching for summer's weapon that was a really cool revelation uh, about summer being the narrator for the first chapter that was really good but oh my god all right i uh i really don't want to keep rambling because i need to watch what happens 26 minutes and that includes the, the credits and possibly post credit scene oh my god i just cannot believe that we're already here at the finale this is gonna be crazy uh let's uh let's get this started <sighs> okay oh my god i'm seriously uh, I, I seriously feel like i'm going to be hyperventilating here but it's already got the starting image of the intro jingle that it's always had, which means there's probably going to be no trigger warnings in this episode, but we'll wait and see. But holy crap, I am super, super nervous about what's coming up. So, okay, I can't stall this any longer. Let's get this going. Ruby, volume 9 finale, chapter 10 of Self and Solitude. Three two one go bum 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 oh my god i can't believe we're actually here okay still curious about what's gonna happen to happen to neo and john i'm pretty sure that it, that that these two are gonna make it out we're not sure what's gonna happen to the other three. <laughs> oh, this has been one of my favorite intros by the way i i absolutely love it i think it's a great look into ruby's psyche sinking down into depths of nowhere i am undone clasping tight onto memories i know they'll be overrun we must live with balance but balance is blind vengeance is a riptide in a fairy tale she'll find inside a new me i'm ready but who will i find inside i gotta let go but could i lose my mind inside our worlds unwind <laughs> oh 
my god! I just can't believe we're here already! Okay. Deep breaths. I'm thinking that maybe the Al that, that Alex was reincarnated into the blacksmith after she was discarded by the curious cat when uh, he failed when, when they failed to get back when they failed to get the remnant through her body. But oh my god, here we go. I'm on the way. Oh, summer again. One more question. What are you? What are you? The end. Oh my god, that's the same bedroom. Oh my god, Summer! I love you. Just the way you are. Just the way you are. Always. <gasps> she left her emblem there for Ruby! Was that the night she- she left on that mission?! <sighs> Not like you to rush off on a mission in the middle of the night. Oh my god! Wait, her hair is tied up in- it looks like a rose. Another run of the mill patrol, little B. I always prefer discretion. Oh my god, Ty! I'll be back soon. Oh my god. I know. <laughs> she didn't come back! Oh my god, we're actually getting answers! Raven! What happened? And uh think about you're just going to leave them? You're one to talk. It's yeah. You're better at that line. Better than I was. If I do this right, there's nothing to worry about. Whoa. Yeah, her hair is her hair is tied up to look like a rose. Oh my god. Where are they going? To crow? Ruby saw that. She lied. She left with Raven. Why would she? Who knows why people keep the secrets they do? But maybe you're not the only one who has felt the weight of others' expectations. Oh my like God. Alex. Like your mother. Like Alex. So maybe. Oh. No, that can't be the answer. Come on. Is that what I'm telling you? <gasps> John! Wait! You never were a hero. Oh. Alex. You? <gasps> Alex! I couldn't save a lot of people. Maybe it's time for a change. Be the kind of man you've always wanted to be. Oh my god. No. Oh! He took it! Oh! Oh, that did get him back! Because he already is the person he needs to be. Man, Neo's overpowered! Freezer Bird! Let's go! I haven't seen that since Volume 2! Burn them? Fire dust, let's go! They all have fire dust! Wait, you're making the cat ascend? Oh. But they do on Neo. <laughs> Here we go! Parents, Torchwick, Cinder, and Ruby. They're forcing the cat out of Neil's body! <laughs> oh boy! Holy crap! 
Here we go. Here we go, man. Can't take the easy way out, Ruby. Oh! No, that's not the right one. Keep looking. You'll find your scythe in there, hopefully. Oh! Oh, he's out of aura! Juniper. The dagger. I love you. Oh! There's Crescent Rose! Just the way you are, Ruby. This one. What happens if I choose me? Then maybe that girl is enough. She is enough. Oh my god! That is beautiful! The rose petals. Cracking. Wait. Red like roses! Red like roses! Oh my god! That's beautiful! Oh my god! Ruby. Wow! And she got her emblem back! Oh boy. Yes! Red Like Roses Part 3! Oh my god! This is awesome! Boom! Oh, that's so like the shot in the, in the trailer! <laughs> oh my god! Atomic Breath. to Remnant, and you're staying here. <laughs> All the Jabberwockers! Neo? Whoa! Dark. Oh, God! Come on. Extend the olive branch. I mean, she's broken. So, that's it then? Yeah, I know. I'm not Ruby. What about oh my her? God. Wait, she's staying? She'll find herself. One way or another. Well, the door's there. She can always come back one day. She chose to ascend and become something better. Wow. Another maybe three volume hiatus. Oh my god. Ho hopefully it doesn't take that long, but. Man. When I was in the tree, I never saw little. Little. She could say thank you. 
Do you guys think we might have made things even worse in the Ever After? Just like Alex did? I'm not sure. Some things may be, but other things are better. I think that we did at least a little good. Look at the gems. Wait! <gasps> oh my god! Memory, but I don't believe we've met yet. Please, what are you? Oh are my you god! Here? Well, you know, I haven't thought about it yet. You look like you have your wits about you. What do you think I am? Well, uh, to me, you seem like a friend, a guide, a protector. Adorable! Adorable! Yes! Do any of those sound close? The heart remembers. I'm somewhat of a lot of things. It is a true pleasure to meet you, somewhat. It will be my honor to serve you. you is little gonna go back? For us than you know. Do you do feel familiar? Yes, yeah, she does. Happy dream. I can't remember. I'm so glad we got to meet you. Again. I'm sure you'll help lots of people. Oh, is Little gonna have to stay? Oh, Little can't go back! It will be alright, Princess. <gasps> she didn't have to tell them that! Somewhat? <laughs> I am at your service! <laughs> Take care of Juniper. Look after Juniper. Yeah, Juniper has to stay I too. Never leave her side. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I was really scared that they were gonna have to sacrifice Juniper to get to get through, but no. John, you can do it. They're going back! Look who's holding it! Look who we're holding hands! Look at the two bears! And Ruby in the middle. Woohoo! Wait, they're back in the... Oh, they're back in the void! Or no, this is the space where Ruby was, in the tree! Yeah, so looks like John's gonna have to stay this age, but back to the blacksmith. Welcome. Wait. So the blacksmith is the tree. Um, Ruby, is this the tree? I would say so. For Sean! Oh, well. I made it. Better late than never! Can you. The two gods! Question, please. I need to know if it's true what the cat said that Lewis went back and Alex. Yes. Only Lewis returned home. And he wrote the, the book. Girl who fell from the world is the story as he wished it had happened. Two gods. Are those the brothers? Yes. These brothers were the tree's earliest blossoms, and the first to inhabit the ever after. What? Remarkable beings, very ambitious. The tree, the tree existed before the gods? But that is the joy of creating. Destroy to clear the wilderness away. 
then create. Then they were given creativity. To Knowledge and choice. And oh my god. Could replace the wilderness. Oh my god. they were supposed to do how did remnant come about us the brothers group cheered us they wanted to do more wow they became as curious as the cat but and so um. using the skills and tools they had with them they began to design their own creation the cat their utmost So the cat has been around for eons. Their new creation could do their job for them. Finding the broken parts of the ever after. After this success, the brothers designed a second creature to finish what the cat started. Humanity? Oh no, the Jabberwalker. The Jabberwalker was the basis for the Grim. One brother believed they had disrupted the balance, while the other refused to condemn their creations for their mistakes. The balance is not two forces locked in never-ending battle. They became the dragons. The is an ecosystem, an organism, a living, breathing thing. Yin and Yang. The rose. The four flowers that represent Team Ruby. Except the remnant. <coughs> the ever after could no longer bear the brothers' experiments, and so the tree is open a special door to a greater beyond, where the brothers could try creating worlds of their own. A doorway that would remain open for the brothers' return and any of their creations. And what truly remarkable! Things they accomplished. Whenever the brothers' creations have come to the ever after, the final three have had a greater impact than you know. Just like Alec and Louis did before them. Just like others will after them. Little or somewhat, I guess. In small kindness. In one small moment. After such a marvelous transformation. Wow. This is insane. Act of dishonesty. Causing unfortunate change. Alex broke her promise to the cat. Yep. A terrible thing to have a broken heart. And there was nobody to send them back to their true form there. Because the cat is supposed to fulfill that role. She got the chance to return her broken heart. How do you have this? When Alex's life ended, she chose to leave a part of herself behind. A wish to fix what she had broken. Oh, please tell me that's going to be a new sword for Jean. Oh, wait! Is he? Yes! Jean's back to normal! He still got the white strings in his hair, but oh my god! He's back to normal! When? Right after volume eight. Sean's back to normal. Oh my God. I can't believe my prediction was right. Wow. What a volume. They're in vacuo. Shane Academy. 
Even some of the Atlas ships are there. Amity! What? <gasps> so we finally know what happened to Pietro Maria then. <gasps> oh my god! <coughs> yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm losing my voice. Commands recipes. I still can't believe they had those people in there. Tai Yang Raven. Oh my God! To anyone who thought this volume was gonna be filler, consider yourselves proven wrong. <laughs> oh my god, I just can't believe that John was able to be restored to how he used to be. And with all of his memories intact, like... Aaron, congratulations to you. You truly deserve to be in here. Oh, this must be about Alex trying to fix everything. Oh my God, they're in vacuo and everyone is there. It takes a lot to get me to cry, so I don't think I'm going to cry here, but man, I came close. And his weapon was restored to normal too. We still need to, I mean, there's still probably gonna be a post credit scene. Can't wait to see the titles for all the. Oh, yep, inside. There we go. Speaking of the devil, it's like chatterbox, um, trap. Oh, yep, trap door. Checkmate, I think. It was God, my way. Red Light Roses Part 3. I was right. So, checkmate. Worthy. Bumblebee Part 2. Quiet was uh, the edge. Okay, the edge. That's what this one was called. Monty. Monty, what have you done, man? Oh my god. Post credit scene? The Grim in the Forest. I've never seen any Oh, it's it's just a trailer for the DC. We fought monsters before. Grim, those soulless creatures with only one purpose. To destroy humanity. Isn't about your age. It's about your heart. Mark is right. I'd follow you into any battle. We're stronger together. Yeah, it's just a trailer for the DC. Okay. Uh, 
But even though there wasn't a post credit scene, I think after everything that happened, there didn't need to be one. But, ooh, man. The, the fate of the cat at the end, man, that was crazy. So the Ever After existed before even the gods did. Like, that is absolutely insane. But you can't help but wonder, like, where the Ever After came from and, and all that. But, but there's only so far back you can go. There's always going to be some questions left unanswered. But, whew, just, but I think that was a fitting end for Neo at the end, like choosing to like accept what happened and choosing to ascend in the tree and improve herself before she can go back to Remnant. I think that was a very fitting end for her. Like, I, I, I would have liked to have seen them like kind of extend a hand and let her go back with them, but she acknowledged that she, that she is broken she needs to be fixed she needs to improve before she can go back which i think was a really good direction to go with her character but oh i can only pray that not only do we not get another three volume long hiatus for another neo appearance but i really hope that we manage to get the next volume at least within the next year because following up on an image like this. <coughs> the view of Vacuo, the Atlas ships that made it to that made it there. I can see Amity Coliseum in the in the background, so that has to mean Pietro and Maria. We finally know what happened to them. So we sadly got well whether they whether they have to be told that Penny died or they already know. Like it's gonna be crazy. Like, ah, uh, I'm just so glad that John was able to be turned back into what he was supposed to be. Like, he has also white streaks in his hair, so that kind of reflects his age. But, I just thought... I can't believe it. It's been so... This is what I sounded like. Yep! Yep, that is what you sounded like! Oh, I'm so glad that his weapon... Okay, well... We're not sure if his sword is still broken. We'll have to find that out in the next volume, but... Oh my god. <laughs> that reaction from Weiss! But, oh man. It, although, I don't know if this is a legitimate or a mistake, but it looks like he's missing the, the, uh... The... Like the... Oh, it doesn't appear on my prop, but he has the bit of, uh... The Ark family symbol that that's supposed to be on his on a sheath but oh my god that was a really strong character moment for pretty much everyone involved ruby jean neo wow that is unbelievable And just wait until everybody hears about Blake and Yang. And that was a really good closing shot with the door closing behind them. That was absolutely amazing. Oh, okay. I feel like if I... If I stay here too long, I'm just going to keep rambling forever. So, I think that's more than enough from me. But, oh man. I just can't wait until the full soundtrack comes out. We get confirmation about volume 10. Like, this is going to be absolutely amazing. Like, especially with that, the newfound hope and optimism that they've been missing pretty much since volume 7. <clears throat> this was absolutely incredible. An incredible volume, an incredible bit of the story. Like, this was definitely, it, it seemed like a filler volume to, to most, but it was very needed because instead of exploring what's going on in the world we need to explore what's going on in the characters this was a very character driven volume and i think it was definitely one of the best like it's right up there with with volume seven like honestly i'm willing to bet this is one of the one of if not the best volume they've ever done so i think uh i think that's enough for me so Thank you all so much for watching. And I just want to give a quick shout out. 
to every single one of you who has been with me, I, who's either been with me since I started uploading my reactions starting in volume 8, or to anyone who subscribed to me since we got back into volume 9, especially everyone who subscribed since uh, my reaction to Bumblebee becoming canon. I literally, like, it may not seem like a, like a lot, but I went from 150 subscribers to over 300 in just, thanks to just one episode. So, I just hope that my channel will continue to grow from here, and I want to thank every single one of you who takes the time out of their day to watch the content I make. Like, honestly, you guys are the reason that I choose to do this. And I will never, there will never be a day where I will not be grateful for all the support that you guys have given me, all the likes, the subscriptions, the comments, all of it. This makes it all worth it. But... I keep rambling on, so thank you so much for watching my reaction to the finale of this incredible volume. Uh, if you want to leave a like, comment, subscribe to my channel, that would be so much appreciated. The links to my Twitter, my Twitch, and as well as my Discord server, the Dragon's Trope that I do with my best friend, Swift Darkwing. If you want to join the Discord, you are more than welcome. We love to talk about, like, just anime, games, just some general nerd stuff, because... I feel like everybody in their own way is a nerd. No matter what topic game, no matter on what topic it may be, everybody's a nerd. You're all welcome. Uh, so yeah, if you want to give me a follow on Twitch, Twitter, join the Discord server, any of that would be much appreciated. But if not, that's totally fine. Thank you so much for watching anyway. Your views are more than enough. I'm the Crocodile King. Have a great one, people. I will see you back here in about a month. For the premiere of Death Battle Season 10. With the premiere episode of Ant-Man vs. Adam. Don't worry. I ain't going nowhere.